You have a really good question. You want to know, um, in my experience as labor and delivery nurse, um, what are the implications of breaking the water versus starting Pitocin for inductions? They are usually done in combination to induce women, and really it just depends. Um, sometimes they just break water to induce women, and the cervix has to be really favorable. Um, it depends on how many babies you've had. And sometimes your body will respond to just that, but usually Pitocin is needed to continue on with the labor. If someone is doing a VBAC or a vaginal birth after a C-section, we need to be extra judicious on the use of Pitocin. And so a lot of times the doctor will, if we need to induce her at all, which we also try to avoid if someone's doing a VBAC, but if we do need to, they'll try breaking her water only to see if labor will start up on its own after that. And honestly, it doesn't usually work. And so a little bit of Pitocin is needed later. Um, Pitocin in and of itself is not a bad thing. It has a bad rap, but it's a great hormone, one that's um, necessary and essential during labor, after delivery, and even during the whole postpartum experience. During labor, your brain releases oxytocin or Pitocin. They're the same thing, and it acts on your uterus and tells the uterus to contract. So someone is if someone comes in in spontaneous labor, we might need to start them on a little bit of Pitocin if they stall out and if they don't change for a couple of hours because that means their body wasn't making enough and we need to give them just a little bit more to make their contractions more intense and more frequent to get their cervix to dilate so that they can increase their chances of having a vaginal delivery. It's also necessary after you've had the baby. We give Pitocin to everyone, whether you had a C-section or a vaginal delivery, whether you had it during labor or not, we give it as, as much as we can, as quickly as we can after delivery to help ensure that the uterus cramps down over all those vessels that were feeding your baby. And this helps to prevent bleeding, excessive bleeding. So um, your body releases some, but we wanna make sure this happens because your uterus is a muscle. It can get tired after all of those hours of labor, and if it chooses to just kind of stop doing its job and relax, then you'll bleed too much. So we give you oxytocin to help increase the chances um, that you'll be fine and you won't bleed too much. Now, your uterus shrink down, shrinks down just to about to the level of your belly button after you've had the baby, and over the next six weeks, it continues to cramp down till it's back at its pre-pregnant size and it's behind your pubic bone. And the hormone, again, that helps this happen is oxytocin. Your brain releases this, especially if you're breastfeeding. Um, the hormone of letdown is oxytocin. And you may notice the first week or two after you have a baby, you feel extra spurts of bleeding and a little bit extra of extra cramping when you're nursing. And that's because your brain's releasing oxytocin that helps your uterus contract down. So it's really cool. It's nature's way of helping to ensure that things go back to the way they were before you got pregnant. So oxytocin or Pitocin is a great drug and hormone. We use it very carefully in the hospital. We use it frequently, that's for sure, um, because a lot of people stall out. There are people who need to be induced. There are people who choose to be induced, and that's okay with their doctor based on their circumstances. And it really all depends on your own individual circumstance. I would talk to your doctor about your concerns, um, and they can let you know more about what they think based on your individual circumstance. But chances are, even if your water was just broken, you may end up with a little bit of Pitocin later if you weren't already contracting it all on your own before that. Good luck with everything, and if you have any other questions for me, feel free to ask them on our Facebook page and recommend us to your friends and family too.